Hey guys, it's Karen e. Rose speaking, and today we're going to be talking about how to attract a person and how to also keep a person. Because a lot of people know how to attract someone, but they don't know how to keep them. I used to be like that. I know how to get my man and keep my man now. But anyways, I wrote a list of down of a few things that, you know, you ladies or men could keep, you know. Mostly it's for the ladies, but also for the men, you know. A few things that you guys can probably use to keep your partner. Let's be honest, and I'm going to start off on how to attract. Number one is looks. I know to some people, looks might not be everything. But to millions of people, let's be real, looks means everything. I'm going to just keep it real. Looks it means a lot because when a person first sees you, what attracts them to you? Their looks. What's on the outside? Then when you start talking to that person, you get to know what's on the inside and what's up here. You know, and appearance is everything as well. So, you know, ladies, you know, get your hair done. You know, put on a cute little outfit, put some cute little shoes on. You know how it is. You know, men love a what men love beautiful women. That's just what it is. Men love beautiful women. And women, y'all know y'all love y'all some handsome, good looking men. So men do the same thing. Get your hair, you know, haircut, you know, get your hair fixed because I know there's men with dreads, you know, braids, all type of things. So you know, just get yourself together. Number two is hygiene. Now, you can be good looking, have all the good looks, but if you don't smell the part, I, I don't know too many people that's gonna attract themselves to you, okay, baby? You know, that, you know, you can't just be run, rocking around here smelling like somebody's ass, I'm sorry. I'm I don't mean to, you know, do that to you, but, you know. Another thing, make sure your breath smell good, because you could be a beautiful, good-looking person, but if your breath stink, goddamn, you know? That defeats the whole purpose of the beauty, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, number three. <clears throat> don't be overly emotional when you meet and go on a date with that person. Ladies, to you as well, to you, because... Y'all be talking about what a man did to you in the past and what you've been through. and blah, 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 blah. Understand you want that person to get to know you, but that man can't fix you. Only you can fix yourself. Especially, baby, you shouldn't be going out on no dates, holding on to what a person did to you in your past. That's not fair for that person, to be honest. And also with men as well, because ladies, let's be real, because... If a man was to get emotional on the first date with him, on, on the first date with you, you're going to be like, I don't want to talk to him no more. He act like a, he act like a weak ass, you know, man. You, don't, you ain't going to want to talk to him no more. You know, just keep it fun. Keep it classy. Have fun. Have a good conversation. You know, eat good. You know, just, do your, just, just enjoy yourself. Especially when you young. I always tell y'all. When you in your twenties, you know, teens, I honestly you shouldn't take a relationship seriously too much. Depending on if you really, really know your partner, though. If y'all really know y'all gonna be together forever, like this is it, this is y'all, then yeah, but but if you're young and you're you know, late teens, early teens, early twenties, just have fun. Just have fun. Just enjoy yourself, enjoy your life travel the world get a career and travel the world just do something that makes you happy you know what i'm saying and let's just say number four ladies this is for you because i know we live in a culture where make his pockets hurt hey but still don't don't if a man takes you on a date don't try to oh i don't care if this man is a millionaire or a baller or whatever don't try to don't 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 try to order the whole goddamn menu. Don't do that to that man. Shit, you know, every man ain't ain't got Floyd Mayweather money. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't do that to that man. <laughs> Seriously, don't do that to that man because it's just like he was nice enough to take you out on a date because 
we living in a day of time where there's a lot of men who don't want to take you on a day don't want to take you anywhere to be honest they just want to get inside them guts you know so be 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 grateful when a, when a dude do take you out on a date you know and another thing ladies if you really like this dude like I said, have a great conversation with him. And also, if he pays for everything, the food, the dessert, pay the tip. Pay the tip. You're going you gonna to have him like this. You ever seen a lady, you ever seen a spider? And she rolls him up in a spider. You know, she rolls her food up for later. He's going to be coming back. He's going to be coming back. He going to just pay. Men are different. I just want to tell you that men are different from women. Okay? And that's all for today, actually. And thank you for watching Charity Rose. <laughs>